everybody knows, no one loves Tyra Banks more than Tyra Banks. Mm -hmm. Yep, she is known for her me, me, me talk and selfies, <laughs> but her latest pics are raising the most finely groomed eyebrows. Yes. In a photo mm -hmm. shoot for New York Fashion Week, Banks is paying tribute to some of fashion's most famous, uh, well, what's causing all the fuss? All but three people of the people she's portraying are white, donning what's being called white face. So here's a look at Tyra and the model she's emulating. This first one is Tyra as well, Kate was, Moss. Well, that yeah. was. This is Ky Tyra as uh, Cindy Crawford, and this is Tyra as uh, Kara, I think her last Duh. name is Div Div so what? Well, anyway, you know, you know uh, what her name is. She's a new girl. Uh, Delavine. Thank you. Uh, now here's an excerpt from the press release. It's a series of unretouched black and white photographs capturing Banks transformed into the embodiment of the iconic images of her colleagues, competitors, and friends. The photography, styling, and transformative hair and makeup, along with Banks' extraordinary ability to emulate each character. Now. The question that a lot of people are asking, would this be okay if a white model put on brown makeup to pay homage to African-American models? What do you guys think? Y'all yeah, take it first, because then everybody's looking at me like, what's she going to say? I, I think she looks gorgeous. I love it. I think it's a great, mm -hmm. I think it's a great depiction. I think it's fun. I think it's different when it's done in a sense of, of, of comedy or, or to be mean, but she's mm -hmm. trying to honor these people. Right. I think it's kind of neat. I, I think it's cool. Well... I don't know. I would it would it be different though? Would it be different if if I wanted to be Tyra Banks for a day and so I put on really dark foundation or something? Like I think if you did it well and it looked as good as her, you know, pictures did, I don't think it would be a problem. Not for fashion. Now when it's in like you know, back to the whole white face thing, it's you know, historically there is no white face. We were right. black people were never making fun of white people for something right. on stage and whatever. So right. I don't really get that part. So I don't really see why it would be an issue fashion-wise for you to put on brown makeup and emulate me. Yeah, but if I did that, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, as long as you're not checking and jiving, I think it's okay. If it's about... photos and, you know. I do think it's, it's the intention. However, when you're dealing with race relations, especially within this particular time that we're living in, it's, mm -hmm. it's very touchy. And also, it's not the only racial issue going on at Fashion Week. Yeah. In New York, Naomi Campbell was just featured on the early morning talk show circuit talking about how she felt as though there weren't enough black women walking the runways mm. at New York Fashion Week, causing quite a stir because, as you know, she got her break with a number of the big designers. Right. She's now criticizing. Calvin Klein and some... Like, Diane Von Furstenberg yeah. was one of them, which is really shocking. That's so huge, yeah. I have a feeling um, either she's generated a fairly decent discussion or she's pissed a lot of people off. Yeah, which but she's I mean, used she to. can afford to yeah. do anyway at this point in yeah. her career. True. Who's really going to do anything yes, to Naomi? Sure. She may throw a phone at you. And speaking